Hello, so starting a new video. It's Friday today, just putting the last video timber framing out today, and we're starting a new one. Um, it's going to start doing the other uh, long sections of the uh, roundwood timber frame that's in the middle of the top workshop. Uh, they involve some really, really long, over five meter long, really wiggly bits of round timber. So it's going to be quite a challenge to get everything to line up with them. Uh, but it is only them left to do and four wind braces so we're getting there and then we get the incredibly enjoyable amazing what we all work towards part of it assembling it all and driving those pegs in it's a fantastic moment and that moment shall be coming soon right so uh i'm just laying out those five meter long pieces up on the top workshop and then uh, start cutting out the tenons in them all right got these two long pieces laid out just exactly the same method I showed in the how to do this video that I put out uh, last week. And uh, so I'm just put a tenon in the end of this. Get one more to the end. These are the two pieces, long pieces that tie the whole thing together. So I'm just going to start doing this one. Should get these done today easily. And then uh, start putting the mortises in the posts, put them into it. don't have any spare material to redo any of this so has to be right I'm spending quite a lot of time marking out I feel like that's gonna tear take a smaller chunk Just binding, literally like another, another swoop of the plastic. We can stay there for now. Go. Right, can we prop something under sand? Under me? Down, sir. That's it. Mm, sorry, I've got to get in there. Relax. 
perfect. Not a bad fit either. The underside light. <coughs> Not too far out, <coughs> close. But we've got a tiny little gap under there. So we have to fix that. Hey everyone, so it's uh, another scorcher of a day today. Uh, so yesterday I put the tenons on the uh, long wiggly pieces and now uh, we've, we fit those which we recorded, we did that late uh, yesterday evening and now we're making the flat spots in the posts ready to do the wind braces using the jig like before should get them done today and then we start the next uh, long side and once that's done it's ready to go together which should be quite exciting because at the moment it's kind of just stuff laying on benches doesn't look that cool but very soon when we stand it all up it's going to look, start looking awesome Joinery's going well, a lot to it, quite complicated, takes a long time. It's going well, I'll give you a few close ups. So, those are the ones we just uh, fitted uh, last night and this morning. And you can see it's a very long, wiggly piece and uh, temporarily pegged, just holding everything together, holding everything square. So all the posts are all square. Everything's set, and then we set our wind braces to these flat spots using the jig like we did before. And then that side will be done, ready to stand up. Could even probably fully assemble that today and just uh, leave it ready to stand up. That'd be a cool thing to do. Doing a little test fit. This whole thing is drying and cracking as fast as I can work on it. So I'm a bit worried all these joints are moving as I'm doing it. Might have a bit of a battle on my hands getting it all to go together. It's just so hot out. Get in there now. So this frame is now actually done. The uh, joins are all fitting quite nice. I just need to drill, mark my holes and drill them. And then I'm going to take this post off. I'm going to bring my tractor in here, maneuver it in the middle there. Once I have it maneuvered where I want it, I shall peg all this and lift the thing into place. Um, the, uh, the joints came out quite well, they're not pegged yet so they'll squeeze even tighter but they're looking pretty good some nice wiggly pieces in there yeah, generally pretty pleased with that first time doing that, those style of wind braces these ones are good too yeah, you know, I'm going to go standing this up, it's still really hot so probably do it a bit later on so can you see that? yeah Pretty good tight fits though. Wee, falling over. Yeah. Let's uh, clear those bits out of the way. Get the tractor in here and I shall lift it up. Peg holes all looking good. Yeah. Offsets are just right, gaps are looking good, the lack of gaps, yeah, wow, really pleased with that, really pleased with that, no gap whatsoever, no gap whatsoever, excellent, so I'm not going to drive them home just yet, uh, get the tractor in here, I need to cut the uh, legs to length, because they're still to random length, then we're ready to stand it up. Choose a suitable length peg. Oops. Favourite bit.
That one's a bit tight. <coughs> These ones are good. That's a bit tight in there too. It's alright though. It's gone. It's good. This one is not going to be happy, I don't think. It's going to be strong though. So the plan is to just uh, rest this up here for now. <clears throat> the trouble is I haven't got the uh, I haven't got the height on the tractor, so I'm going to get it fixed in temporarily uh, to the wall here. The wall's plenty strong enough in this direction. And then I can reset. It'll be easier then. Right, so I'm going to take these straps off. Let that lean on there. Most of the weight's down. It's not actually that much leaner, right? <clears throat> this can definitely take it. Fine. Hopefully that will give me the height now. Just got some bits of wood on there. So it's uh, it's basically only just on its. Uh, just past its balancing point so it's like this at the moment so there's almost no weight going backwards and there's obviously nothing coming this way all the way it's down on the uh, posts so i'll probably fix that in place now up against the wall get it safe use the wall to hold it where it is and then get the tractor out of the way because i don't need that to lift it anymore it's just a hindrance at this point um, and then i'll use the tractor to then pull it back this way into place and then i'll fix it um, so yeah, let's get it fixed and we'll get the tractor out of the way. I thought I'd better quickly mention that isn't where it's going to go by the way. That's just to get it up and out of the way. Once I've got it all together I'll uh, move it around with the tractor into a nice position and then it will get bolted down to the floor. It looks good, right? Big. It's like uh, three and a half meters to the top. Quite an impressive thing. All right, I'm gonna call it a day. So me and Sam just uh, finished getting these two mortises done on the final long frame. 
to get up so there's just two excuse my t-shirt i just literally soaked myself in water because it is so hot today and just ridiculous i just i'm no good in the heat and yeah so uh just two wind braces to do and the whole thing goes together so we're pretty close now i'll do a bit more filming tomorrow hopefully it's a bit cooler because this is just getting ridiculous now unbearable working in here we've got all these green tarps around there's no wind concrete it is so hot in here it's unbelievable yeah it's like twice as hot in here as it is just outside the door there because of all these black tarps yeah it's just killing us but uh so pleased with how it's going Good one so looks like it's going to be another scorcher today hey puss how's it going yeah uh really hot day again unfortunately it's a bit hot for this kind of work it's drying out the timbers really quickly and it's making it a bit problematic but all we've got left to do is uh two wind braces and one I might be able to use that we already made wrong for the other side. So I might be able to make that fit this side. So yeah, two wind braces and then it's time to get the frame all stood up and assembled. So yeah, quite exciting really. Hey big girl. Lots of people think you're very pretty. Yeah. They do. Lots of people watch just for you. Right, get this peg hole drilled. Not gonna take it out all the way. You can see where my mark is. Offset it. Oh, she moved. Don't want that to happen. There we go. Right, put that back together. Oh yeah, nice offset there. Oh, what fell on the floor? Oh, let me find that. All right, I'm just gonna lightly tap in a peg because just even just a little bit in applies an incredible amount of force. Right, wants to go round a little bit like that. Little tap as it goes, help it along. There we go. There we go, right. So I've got this uh, spare brace, um, made it, moved in the box when we screwed it and it ended up being 35mm uh, too short because obviously the box is a trapeze shape so if it, if it moves either way it changes the length of it. Anyway, screwed it in, <clears throat> it must have moved, I didn't notice and it was too short. So I've um, got this spare, it doesn't clash with anything so I think I'm going to put this in here. It's just a slightly different process now because this is already made. Um, so I'm going to I've set the jig to this. Set the jig to it. And now I'm going to fit the jig into uh, the flat spots. And then... Back out, 
close. Be a bit of an off too much offset than that. Oh, that's gonna be tight. Right, morning everyone. Today we'll put the frame up. I don't know if anyone spotted my mistake yesterday. Pegged all that. Finally, drove all the pegs home. Then I realised later that evening, ah, I can't get the tractor in it there anymore. So yeah taking the pegs back out, one leg off, bring the tractor in, and I'll put it back together, and we'll get the whole thing stood up.
Excellent. It's pretty difficult for me to uh, get on camera really just how good this looks. I mean, it, you know, you can see it but until you're here and seeing the proper scale it's just, it feels really quite grand when you look at it from under here. Like it is awesome with the big curves and everything. It's really tall. Yeah, it does feel like quite a spectacular thing. And the joinery just came out fantastic. So proud of that, you know. Can't go wrong with that because for the first time doing those, yeah, really pleased. Right, anyway, uh, I need to take the strap off up there as well because that's not doing anything anymore. Okay, well that's going to conclude this video. Uh, it's been fantastic getting this done. I was uh, kind of worried about it because it's stuff I haven't really done before with the wind braces, but it came out great. Yeah, it has been a challenging week though because uh, we've been working in some pretty severe heat conditions so in here with all the green tarps and everything it got to uh, 39 degrees celsius and 80 percent humidity and that was pretty uncomfortable doing heavy work like this so it's been challenging uh, i've also been suffering with hay fever all week because we've got a lot of flowers around here and yeah just hay fever has been pretty bad that's why my eyes are all puffy and yeah so generally try quite challenging due to the conditions but the work was fantastic learned a lot and it's come out really well uh, so next video i shall be putting up the roof timbers and starting to basically yeah just fill, fill all the roof in things are going to take place uh, pretty quickly from now anyway hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching